Captain vlog day whatever it's May and uh, yeah we're back in the garage um, I'm just gonna say consistent with this not because anyone is watching these but because it's good for me to practice um, writing out things thinking them through expressing them and uh, yeah sort of this is a way to hold myself accountable um, Anyway, yeah, so in, in, in my mind, this channel is all about what I call little human expressions. And the word little is a little bit disingenuous, but um, I think I'm referencing like little incremental change in the way that you're comfortable with expressing yourself and how I'm comfortable with expressing myself. Yeah, so when I say expression, um, just the process that I'm going through that I want to document because maybe there are other people going through it too um, I mean expressions of emotional emotional intimacy and how you're feeling and being able to sit with those things and then also how you express yourself so you know they're like a small example this is my dad's shirt a lot of people might not think um, they would be comfortable wearing something like this and a long time ago I wouldn't but it's really comfy and it's his birthday this week so it just feels homey and nice and I'm not worried about the way it looks on me so something just as small as that as not being really self-conscious about things like this and then also being able to express how you're truly feeling emotionally because I think that gives us the most freedom and it's so hard for so many people. Um, yeah, so I think challenging yourself in little ways to be able to go to those places of intimacy and vulnerability, you know, when it's safe and makes sense for you is um, really great practice. And it's helped me to try and become a more whole human. Um, and not in any frilly way, not in any like new age, lovey-dovey, hippie way, just in what I feel is a really healthy um, way. And is most sort of a true form of expression of the self because that's really all you have at the end of the day and that's all we'll have um, for most of our lives, I think. And if you can sit with yourself, it helps. So there's this really gorgeous new show that I've been watching called Normal People and it's based off of a best-selling author. BBC3 released it and it's out on Hulu and it's the story of these two Irish teenagers and the story of first love and they have a bit of a tumultuous relationship. I don't want to spoil anything um, but I think the show is just so real and so true and heartfelt and important in a lot of ways. Really recommend everyone watch it. Old, young, man, woman, um, it addresses issues of socio socioeconomic class and gender and um, the modern age and what love is and expressions of love. But the two main characters, it's a man and a woman, and they're defined by concern about how they're perceived, so anxiety about how um, they'll come across and how others will interpret their actions, and they're also determined by their self-worth. So their sense of self guides a lot of um, what they do, how they communicate with one another, um, and that lack of communication actually ends up terrorizing their lives and their relationships. And in turn, because their relationships fall apart, that damages their sense of self-worth. So it's this really interesting cyclical process that they can't seem to get out of. They can't express themselves sufficiently. They can't get out of that scary place of judgment from other people. And they can't own who they are in a way that is righteous um, and express themselves in a way that is righteous and healthy. And so in the end, that ends up being sort of a self-sabotage. So because they are so 
concerned and worried about the way others perceive them, so unable to express themselves emotionally and communicate what they're feeling, they end up sabotaging their own relationship, which is so detrimental to their own self-worth. Um, and I think that some inability to talk about emotions and access those things comes from trauma and needs to be worked out through therapy, but a lot of it is things that we need to like force ourselves through and really work on and sit with and grow in and be comfortable with. Like, you know, a lot of young high school boys, it's hard for them to express emotion and talk about feeling. And then when they're 30 years old, it comes a bit more naturally because that's a more accepted space and it's almost expected of people. And it's a healthier way to live lives and maintain partnerships. Um, so leaning into that, I think, is really healthy and important. And my dad and I were talking about how scary and difficult it is to be vulnerable through emotional intimacy and expression, but he said, how often is the alternative better? How often are you saved that moment of embarrassment and actually happy with the outcome of not expressing yourself and not being vulnerable and emotionally intimate with people? And I would argue that you lose out on a lot more. Um, it's not quantifiable, but I think it's really important and healthy in your emotional journey to sort of be able to access that space in yourself. So there's a lot to feel empathy about in this show and a lot to learn from it as well. So while a lot of growth comes from difficulty and loss, I would also argue that a lot can be gained when you throw yourself wholeheartedly into something that ends up being adventurous and joyful and expands your horizons anyway and that is a way to grow through happiness as well um, and so when I talk about little human expressions and being our authentic selves <laughs> being unafraid to express ourselves I mean two things and I mean expression through intimacy with others so letting them how you're feeling and how they make you feel and what they mean to you. Going to those intimate places with them, that doesn't mean physically necessarily, but emotionally through conversation and shared experience. And then expression through investment and enjoyment of yourself. And yeah, I would like to just, um, as I mentioned in other videos, document my process of trying to push myself in these ways. and. Hopefully it generates some um, community or realization that other people are going through the same thing and it doesn't have to be as scary <laughs> as it feels sometimes. Um, but yeah, expression of investment through yourself means allowing yourself to take a chance and do the things that you don't think you should do, could do, would do, um, spaces that you don't belong. And that's not reckless behavior, but it's something as simple as like, I'm not a cook, well cook the damn dish or try it. Or, um, you know, getting coffee with someone that you really have missed or don't feel like you're worth their time. And I really think that the core, that sort of outstanding principle here to me is feeling vulnerable while you are believing in yourself enough to do the damn thing is really important and feeling the fear and doing it regardless is so important and I think that when you enter into that space there will be fewer missed opportunities, more self-growth, more happiness, more reward in your life, in my life, in the lives of those around you so being able to feel you know okay this isn't comfortable for me but what would I say to a friend that was in that same space? You'd say, hell yeah, 100%, go for it. Or let's do this together. Let's try this together. So allowing yourself to feel timid and, and in that sort of insecure spot and doing the damn thing. And like I had said in a previous video, I was gonna try something I've never done before. I don't feel like I'm a crafty person. I'm not great with my hands at all. I've never poured resin or made anything, but I picked some flowers from my yard dehydrated them <laughs> and poured them in here. I also tried a couple of different molds for earrings. That one's a snake. This one I got cardboard in. It has a lot of air bubbles in it. 
This one I thought was more badass, but has a chip in it. So none of these are really perfect whatsoever. But the point is I had a little extra money. I found some for sale online and I tried it with flowers from my backyard. And uh, I'm really happy that I did because now I have some earrings that I can wear. And I followed through for myself and I know it sounds silly and it's so simple, um, but it was good practice at just jumping into something and kind of not giving a flying fuck if it worked out. So all of this is not to say like, Express yourself, every asshole that has an opinion needs to talk about it and talk about it. No, it's not that at all. Um, but normal people really reminded me of those really vulnerable and intimate moments and how important they are in our lives and in relationship building. And when you're so close to being in that space with someone and you won't allow yourself true expression, um, it's really a shame and I think it's one of the hardest ways to live life. So I am going to try and do better at that myself. I think I'm gonna start with journaling um, and trying to work some of that stuff out in my head onto paper. And I hope that uh, maybe you guys feel encouraged and supported to do that as well. Um, I love to hear about it. Hope you're staying safe and ha healthy and happy.